So you got you a dope bike, but you tired of riding by yourself, so you want to join a motorcycle club. We get into it on this episode of Demons Row TV. Welcome to Demons Road TV. This is the holy grail of MC culture. We get into everything MC related, motorcycle club related. And the topic we're gonna to talk about today is prospecting for a motorcycle club. Now, the first bit of advice that I'm gonna give you is if you're gonna join a club, hang around. Whether, they, whether that's part of their system or not, hang around. A lot of clubs do have hang arounds, but some don't. Hang around. Get to know people, study them, watch, watch their moves. They'll be watching yours, but fuck that. Study them and see if this club is what you want to represent. Colors, um, what they ride. If you ride a Harley, don't join a club where everybody rides a street bike or vice versa. You know what I mean? Join a club that represents your style. So that's the first thing I would say is to hang around. And the reason why I say that is because so many people join clubs and then a couple of months out, a year out, you don't even want to be down anymore. And then you jump to another club because you don't even like half the people in your club and you don't like their style. So take that time to hang around for you. Don't just jump into prospecting. Figure out if the club is right for you. That's my first tip. People have asked me, if you don't know people in clubs, how do you get involved with the whole culture? And what I say is, you can, I, I started knowing people, my cousin was in it, so it was easier for me. But if you don't know somebody, I would say, go to a bike rally, go to bike events, whatever's going on MC related. And when you go there, the club that you kind of want to deal with, run up on one of the members and just say, listen, I'm interested in joining the club. What do I gotta, you know, who do I gotta talk to to lead me in the right direction? They'll be more than willing to want you to, to come to the table and get to know who you are so you can prospect. So that's, that's like one of the easiest parts of it. Okay, so you find a club that you like and they give you your prospect vest. And basically your vest is not gonna have the center patch on it with, with, the, with the club's insignia. So basically what you're gonna do is whatever it takes for six months to a year, depending on the club, to earn that patch. And it's a great feeling when you get it. So don't ever feel, don't ever let your ego make you feel like, like it's not worth it. Cause it is, it's a great feeling when you finally get that patch and you, you get accepted into that brotherhood. I mean, I, I that's the way I felt, but it depends on your club, you know? But that's how you wanna feel, you wanna feel like, you, you reach the biggest goal of your life. That's one of the main parts about prospecting. Now, what you'll be doing in prospecting is a lot of bartending, helping brothers. If a brother gets stuck on the road, you wanna be the first one to be like, yeah, I'll come down, I, I, I'll help the brother. Um, you, uh, you'll serve drinks, you'll barbecue. You know, you'll just basically help out, you know? I mean, if you're in the wrong club, you'll be lighting cigarettes and washing bikes. And I'm not gonna say the wrong club, but just if you're in a club that 
is serious like they're gonna slave you to get in there you know some clubs do do that like they'll make you go to the fullest extent at the end of the day be a man you're a man first nobody could tell you to do some shit that they wouldn't do themselves so it's it's upon you how you want to move now one major thing to me like i said before you have to join a club that fits the type of person you are don't try to join an outlaw club if you're not that type of person because you will be exposed you will get put in a position where you're gonna have to prove that you're that type of person and i'm not saying you have to commit crimes police any police watching i'm not saying that i'm just saying you have to be cut from that cloth to represent an outlaw club so don't join an outlaw club if you're not really about that life and you just want to have fun and ride join a 99 and enjoy riding and the fun parts of being an MC. That's one major tip that I'll give you. Don't, don't ever involve yourself in anything that you're gonna feel like you're over your head. Another thing I'm gonna tell you is, if you're prospecting and you start noticing things about the club that you don't like, get out of it. Like, don't try to get fully patched in a club that you're not interested in anymore because it just it's a waste of time. You're wasting the brother's time and you're wasting your time. So, like I said, be a man first. And you're, when you're prospecting, you're also watching what they do. And one of my main things too about prospects is keep your mouth shut. Learn how to shut the fuck up and watch what's going on. Don't talk a lot. That's, that, that like MC see that and they're like, they, they can read you. Don't put your hand, don't put your cards on the table. Keep, keep some like mystery to yourself. Don't let, don't, put, don't let everybody know who you are from the door. Keep your mouth shut, keep your eyes open, and make sure you know what you're getting into. That's, that's the most important thing about prospecting to me. Cause, and, and, and please, don't be like a joker. Don't, don't talk to brothers old ladies. Like if a brother's old lady comes up to you and says what's up and stuff like that, that's cool. But don't take too much time you know, talking to them, you don't want to get into those type of problems, you know what I mean? That's not a major thing in clubs that goes down, but I mean, I guess if you're in the wrong club, it does go down, and nobody's tolerating that. If you see property of, stay away from that. Don't try to be extra friendly, jokey, none of that. Keep it 100. So you're gonna to want to give maximum effort Show your club that you're down for them. Show that MC that you ride. Always be out there. Anytime a brother needs you, you wanna be the first one on the scene. When it's church, first one there. When it's an event, first one there. Then the brothers know, yo, shit. Bro, he down like he's always ready. That's what you wanna do. MCs, tell me in the comments a prospect story, something funny, something serious. Just, I want, I want the community to really expand and grow together and teach each other. I wanna learn. I'm not the 100% perfect MC. I'm a younger guy, so I haven't been riding 50 years like some of these dudes in the comments, you know what I mean? And um, check out my sister, Raven Dixie Line. She's doing her thing, you know what I mean? Support her. And MCs, tell me in the comments what did I miss? I know there's a million things involving being a prospect, so I can't, I can't cover everything. You motherfuckers got some short attention spans. So, thank you for tuning in. This is Demons Road TV, the holy grail of MC culture.